Hi, I'm Adriana. And I'm Mira. We are Girl Scouts in Houston, Texas, and we are creating pet beds for a charity for our Silver Award project. For this project, you are going to need a sewing machine with a 90-14 needle, fleece or flannel fabric, cotton fabric, and batting. For batting, you can use however many pieces you would like. First, you're gonna cut both of the fabric and fleece to the same size. Next, pin the two pieces of fabric right sides together. When you finish pinning, use a marker and ruler to mark an 8 to 10 inch gap for stuffing. You won't sew in between these two marks. Next, you will take your sewing machine, starting at the gap, and you will sew around the edges. As you sew, you will take out the pins. Once you reach the corner, you will make a pivot by leaving the needle in the cloth and lifting up the foot. Once you have done this for all the corners, you will continue going around and sewing until you reach the other side of the gap and you will leave that open. Don't forget to backstitch at the end to lock your threads in place. Then, you will cut the batting to fit a little smaller than the bed. Flip the bed inside out. Be sure to poke out the corners with your fingers. Then, stuff the bed with the batting. You can use one or more pieces. Once it's stuffed, tuck in the raw edges of the gap, then pin. Next, you will sew the hole shut. In the beginning and end, you will go backwards and forwards again. Once again, take out the pins while you're sewing. If you wish to, you may use a piece of chalk and a ruler to mark a rectangle in the middle of your bed. It'll be three or four inches from the border depending on how big your bed is. Next, you will sew over the lines you just drew. Once you're done, make sure to check for any pins or loose threads. And then you're done.